Hey guys, I am Russell with the Russell Bees channel. Got a treat for you today. We are getting our male sheep, our ram, here very soon. So uh, had to make a temporary, temporary pen for him. So uh, let's check it out. I'll tell you why I had to do that. So I uh, had to make a temporary pen for our male sheep that we're going to be getting. Um, reason being, two of the three female ewes that we have, female sheep, um, are not ready to be bred yet. And if you breed them too early, um, it can cause issues for them. So don't want to do that. So I've created a um, temporary pen um, today. And let me tell you, it's hot. It is a hot one today. Um, but I'm, I'm very excited about it. It's something that I just kind of thought of and did. Um, it's amazing what you can do if you just put your mind to something and get it knocked out. Let me show you what I've done here and why I decided, I'll kind of explain why I decided to do what I did. So I've got this fencing and as you can see, it's very loose. Um, I only had so many posts left. Didn't feel like going and purchasing more for, um, this temporary setup. It's only going to be set up for maybe a month. Um, and I'll get into that a little bit more, but I had this, my uncle gave me this. So thank you, Uncle Jeff, for that. Um, and then these fence posts were left over from when I did the, the uh, sheep fencing that we have set up there. Got that from the Ziegler family. Thank you guys for that. Traded them some honey for that. Um, good deal on both parts, sweet deal. Um, so what I've done, I've got this set up every 20 feet. I've got a fence post, and then in the middle, you can hardly see, I hope you can see, I went with a rod just to kind of help stabilize it a little bit. I wasn't really satisfied with how that is. As you can see, it's still flimsy. Um, so what I did was I went ahead and put along the bottom, I can hardly see, hope you guys can see that. Along the bottom, I went with electric fencing. So I'm hoping this will work, I'm sure it will. Um, but it just has electric fencing all the way around the temporary fencing that I put up. So let's walk down here. And I'll show you the thing that I'm probably the most proud of out of this whole deal. Just kind of thought of it while I was doing this. This gate. So I've got the connector at the bottom of the uh, fence down here, the electric fence. So when I need to get in here, I'll hop over the other side of the fence there, um, walk around and unhook it, and then uh, I'll be able to just lift and open. So I thought that was pretty cool, pretty good little ingenuity on my part, if I could brag for just a second. Anyway, just having fun. So I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a uh, closer look of how this about this gate here, um, just a pallet. So uh, I, I live by the philosophy of keep it simple, stupid. That's keeping it as simple as it gets. So basically I just have a post as you can see there and I'm gonna run a little wire just to kind of connect it at the top of, on the other side of the existing fence. Um, and it just works kind of like a hinge here. Pretty excited about that i think that's pretty awesome and then whenever i'm ready to bring the male sheep in with the female sheep to use um, i've got an idea for that as well
just going to run the existing fence to my temporary fence here um, and that'll help give us a shoot to put that um, male ram in with the females if all, all things go as I'm planning which that always happens so kind of the general rule of thumb that I've kind of found and researched and been told um, for female ewes, female sheep, to be bred, the good breeding age is about seven to nine months old, which sounds crazy. Um, but that's just kind of the way that that goes. Um, so the uh, one of the females that I have was born in December of last year. Um, she was a Christmas baby almost, Christmas, uh, right around Christmas time. Um, the other two were born in February. Um, so if you do the math there, September, October, um, around that time, they will be ready to, um, be ready to breed. So during that, or at that time, or close to that time, I'll let the ram in with the, uh, the females and they'll let nature, well, I'll let nature take its course. So again, um, you don't want to breed them too early, um, because they can actually have medical complications. They can stunt their growth because they're they're having a baby before their their body's ready to produce one so um fun fact typically um you may have heard this before or you may have heard me tell you before um typically sheep will have two to three babies when they when they have a baby um but for their first one for their first one they uh they usually only have one so uh be looking to have a baby sometime next year so super excited about that hope you guys uh Hope you guys enjoyed this video today, um, making this temporary sheep shelter for our male sheep that we're getting. Um, already growing, so super fun, super excited. If you guys like what you see, please subscribe, tell your friends, share us on Facebook and the Twitterverse and everywhere else. Um, like this video if you don't mind, and uh, we appreciate you guys watching and joining us on our journey. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless.